as far as, far as Pogba goes, do you think he should be left to go in January or in the summer? Well, Ole said he won't go in January, so mostly I want him to go in the summer. Yeah. Yeah, in the summer, because January, who will pay in January? Who will do yeah, that? I wonder who will pay in January. 150M, because Man United are demanding 150 million. You want 150M? Mm. Okay, I think you can get that with Pogba, but it's only in Nanya But Saizi, at Okiona, Real Madrid are better off, so they'll see Pogba right now, no. It, we don't need him. It will disrupt him. Juventus, they still sound like they're interested in him. Yeah, Is yeah. it an option? It's an option because Rayola loves Juventus. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> Rayola loves Juventus. Yeah, he loves Juventus. Oh, I... But I think he won't go back there. He'll go to Zidane because next summer, I know Real Madrid, yeah. the Mbappes and the Pogba's will be the ones being signed. Who's calling the shots yeah. over the summer? All right. Uh, let's say, like, over the window, right? Because the transfer window is open already. Yeah. Yeah. Which department do you feel, or do you feel like you guys need to strengthen first and foremost? Is it the defense? Is it the mid? Surely it can be the attack. Or is it the attack? Which, which defense, in which order do you feel like, hey, first things first, to let him see that this department, then this, and who? who what do you think? I think the midfield, because we have so many injuries in the midfield. Creative part, uh, central, defensive? Both creative and the defensive. Because, first, Matic can't play two months consistently. Consistently. Because you're playing nine games this January. Yeah. He can't play all of them. Yeah. Because they'd be high intensity. Against Liverpool, twice against Man City, then Wolves. You see, so... Oh, it's it, going to be tricky. Yeah. It's going to be tricky for a 32 year old yeah. to play that those many matches. I yeah. think a defensive midfielder will be appropriate. Yeah. I wish we could go for the Partey, Partey dude. In, oh, for Thomas. Uh, Thomas Partey. Yeah. In, or we try our luck and go for Didi. Didi? Yeah. Oh. Didi is actually good. You know, he's underrated. Yeah, he, he is. He is. The, the question, however, though, is would he leave Leicester, a Champions League team, to come to United? Of course, Kuna Man United. That's a bigger Liverpool, name than yeah. Leicester. Yeah. But still, would you leave Champions League to come and play the Europa League? Ah, if 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 was indeed, you know, if, yes. if, if that's if that's if you don't qualify for the Champions League this season. Uh, I think that will be up to him because yeah. it's that easy. We can give him all the money he wants. Yeah, I'm exactly. That's exactly what I want. Like you guys can lure him <laughs> with crazy money. wages. Yeah. But if you give him crazy wages, he won't play for the badge. You'll play for the money. Yeah, he'll be playing that's for the money. That's the problem that you've been doing most transfer with yeah. Windows. We're giving people crazy wages at first. Yeah. And Instead they, of people who are passionate yeah, for Man United. Yeah, that, that's why that's why I left about the signing of Daniel James. Yeah. He wasn't given credit at all, but his commitment and to the club is, is fantastic. That you need guys who feel like, shit, I am so fortunate to be to playing play for, for Man United. United. Not, oh shit, I'm getting paid. I'm this, getting paid like this. 200k per week. Like, this is insane. Yeah. That's the first thing. Then the second thing, the Man United. No, it should be Man United. United. Then, of course, I'm getting some good wages. It comes with the performance over the season. Precisely. Yeah. All right. So, so a defensive one yeah. and an attacking one because Pereira not it. Pereira. How old is he? He's 20, 23, 24. Yeah. I think, yeah. Nimso Academy. I'm yeah, Nimso know. Academy. He came, oh. he came to the Academy. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I always recall the goal he scored against Watford. Oh. I about Flandy Elifunga. I think he's season or last season. It's a fantastic goal he scored against Watford. I was like, shit. And not about the free kick on his debut against, was it? There's a free kick he scored mm. on a League Cup debut. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he actually got one of the match. Then he pulled out to the hamstring. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. So, so an attacking at, one. Attacking one. So Bruno Fernandes, Sinatoa. Yeah. Because Abu attacking Fernandes anymore. I don't know Ericsson. Ericsson. Ericsson is a viable option, but will he choose, we'll, will he choose us or PSG? That's the question now. Mm -hmm. Especially even Tottenham, would they be willing to sell to their rivals? But Mourinho doesn't mind selling to their rivals. I, I see. I see. I see. Mourinho is saying maybe, maybe he will let go of Ericsson because yeah. he, he has someone in mind. Shida, Shida, Ericsson. Shida ni on this Akenda Sama ni free. Yeah, ni so free. So they have to sell him nah. January. Yeah, but they will have to otherwise. Imagine, it, imagine letting Ericsson go on a free. Bravo. 27 prime midfield yeah. years. Yeah? Nah, that would be insane. <laughs> yeah. They cannot allow that one to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that would be an interesting one to watch over the summer. No, over the January transfer window. Uh, all right, so midfield, all right. How Where else? Missing? Our defense, actually, defense you are not that badly off, though you are letting go of Rojo. Rojo, yeah. Uh, Rojo is going. Mm -hmm. I hope Bailey will recover and be consistent. Over when is he expected to come back? I think end of the end of this month he'll be back. End of January. Mm -hmm. oh, because right. he started training. Yeah. So I think that will be a nice backup plan. Mm -hmm. Plus, we, we're just selling Chris Smalling, so you'll have to acquire another are, defense. Are you finally going to sell him? Yeah, yeah I read somewhere he, has, he had agreed to go to Roma, Roma permanently. Permanent. For 20 million that's, only. 
Wow. And you have Phil Jones still. still there. Still. How fair are you still doing Mr. Own Goal? Imagine. Eh? And you, uh, 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 the it, it, amount of players you have sold. And, you have and, and still letting job. that guy to survive in your club, it's that actually, is amazing. Yeah, You've got to love Man United for that. <laughs> he's actually the worst player of the decade. I, I love Phil Jones. Oh, yeah. yeah I think he'll easily suit that criteria. Um, there's this dude, eh? uh, left back, Williams. Uh, Brandon Williams, yeah. the kid. That, that. Yeah. He's looking like the real deal, bro. He is the real I, deal. I was watching the, the, the Wolverhampton games. Yeah. Traore Hakwa Nawasumboa, like he normally does at other clubs. Yeah. And I was thinking like, shit, are you trying to tell me in Williams, I'm a Jaribu like Kweka Traore? I didn't want to buy that. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't sound nice to me as a rival. But it's the truth. But it's the you truth. Know, if, if, if it was show, show is so fat. One thing, show yeah. is fat. So you get bu bullies a lot. Yeah. But you see, Brandon Williams is an academy product who is out there playing for Man United. So he'll give it all. You yeah. know, the first game 100%. he played against Maupay, he was literally going Blows with Mope. Yeah. A 19 year old going blows yeah. with the Premier League person who was established. Like himself. Nick Mope, who was brutal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I love plus yesterday he attacked. He attacked. Yeah. As compared to Shaw, where he sits back. Mm. He gives the ball to Rashford, then he doesn't bomb us forward. So, yesterday you saw Williams attacking forward. I, I think like, like Shaw is, is maybe good attacking wise, but not that good defensively. Is, is he? Good both sides at all. Oh. Yeah, he's not. Like, I feel like he 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 has pace, uh, uh, so uh, he can make a good wing back or someone who's uh, helping out in the left wing. You know our win, percentage, do that? our win percentage with Shaw is 37. Our win percentage with Brandon Williams is 77. No shit. And that's 10 games. Okay. And Williams, we haven't lost any. Williams is the real deal. Mm, he's the real deal. Williams is the real deal. I even feel like Williams. Hange geuzo sana na Pepe Venyali, geuzo uh, show. Hange geuzo, hange kubali. Hange, Maybe. Hange kwa memkula kiatu maali. Yeah, most likely. Most likely. <laughs> that was a nice game, bro. A look show, and we wiped the floor with him. That was amazing. That was amazing. All right, so um, defensively, however, you, there's not that I, much urgency of, of adding new guys. No, the defense is not that urgent because, plus, we don't have a defensive plan. Have you seen us being counted on? If a team counters us, yeah. Maguire and Lindelof will be in six and seven, and they'll be so apart yeah. that there's a, a way through. A way. Mm. Oh, so that's how he conceded against Newcastle. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's that. I also feel like sometimes, like especially Gemetu Niliona Sana, Luke Shaw was not being helped. Mm. I think the Rashford and Lukai wing left. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. not helping back. Mm. There's quite a, especially first half. We were just second half when it's summer, oh, I'm a choker. First half, I couldn't have done but Rashford was not doing shit in that game. So mm. definitely, Anga Kuja Kusaidia Luke Shaw, he didn't do that much. Do that. So maybe that's that's something maybe the players can be talked to about. You should be helping out your left backs and full backs. Like how Bumayang helps. Yeah, you see? Like, like, yeah. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, what the. Did we just sign a new guy? <laughs> Doesn't seem like the old guy. All right. So uh, creatively, I also agree. Like I feel like creatively is one place you should look at, especially keeping in mind you might be losing Pogba over the summer. Yeah. So I think the only place we have Kwangali over the transfer window. Defensive wise. All right. So we shall we shall see what happens over there. It's going to be interesting.